have met today. He is one of the many people who are involved in this wonderful new art gallery. Oh, come on in. It's called the Purple Institution, and it's not only an art gallery, people live here, and it's kind of interesting. Actually, I don't really know what's going on here, but Misha is gonna take us for a little walk through here. This direction here? Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? The cat is scared. The cat's scared? Okay, well maybe we better leave the cat alone. Here we go. Okay, show me who to talk to, okay, Misha? Who should I talk to? Maybe you can talk to my dad. Where's your dad? He's right there. Hi, Dad. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Paisley. Paisley, how you doing? Pretty this is good. your dad? I love him. Yeah, he's pretty sweet. Yeah, this is Misha. This is Dad. Uh, this is your place, is it not? Um, partly, yeah. Okay. Can you explain to me what the Purple Institution is? Uh, it's kind of a collective devoted to uh, uncovering and doing art. Okay, now, the people that are showing their work here are not your everyday average artists. They're doing something a little bit, hopefully, different? Yeah. Yeah, we kind of like um, more multimedia <laughs> stuff, like uh, mixing sculpture and sound and different things like that. This is a kind of in interesting place, as I try to speak properly, because this is not government-funded, is it? No. No. We fund ourselves, and other people help fund us. <laughs> okay, let's go take a look. Yeah, yes, any, let's, let's, any. Let's go take a look. Okay. What's here? What's this? What's this? This is um, this is a video um, by a group called Elbow Grease. Um, it's a collaboration between uh, installation artists Jane and Lars Huggard and. Uh, ooh, I should have my press release. <laughs> and anyway, uh, what they did is they, they, they performed the piece live and they were shooting it live on video at the same time. And this is the video. The piece up above is by My Michael Kinghorn. Um, he works with found materials. He gets a lot of his materials, you know, just from the street, from the beaches, wherever he can. What exactly is going on in New York? Um, we're going to be moving the whole jungle show, all the artists, all the plastic, uh, down to New York, the Lower East Side, ABC No Rio. Um, it's, uh, it's a gallery similar to ours in a lot of ways, a gallery. It's art, a space. Um, it's been running for the last 10 years. It's run by Lou Astorino. Um, rehab video works out of there, and a lot of other people as well. Is the concept of gallery starting to fade away and now artists are showing their work in spaces as opposed to galleries? Oh, definitely. Yeah, that's happened in this city quite a bit actually in the mm -hmm. last year. Why is that? Um, I think that it, it has a lot to do with the restrictions of most gallery spaces and also artists are wanting to break out of being dependent on a gallery owner to sell their work. We don't take a cut of, cut of uh, work. Like, we don't take a cut of the price of a piece. Then how do you survive? Um, through, through fundraising, through personal, private donations. Um, we all rent out studio space here. So that supports the, the space that the gallery takes up. All right, where else are we going to go now? Um, I love this. Melanie. A, oh, Melanie Melody's piece. All right, let's, let's take Jungle a look at this. Specimen. A what? Jungle active specimen. It, it's, uh, it can be worn. This is like a, a piece of wearable art. You can see the back. This is the media teepee. And um, I started, the idea I started out with was the idea of homelessness. And when you're homeless, your underwear is the closest thing to home. So um, <laughs> I had to move out of my studio. So I thought, oh, OK, I'll paint my long underwear, and this will be my new home. And it's strung up inside the media teepee. And this is a sort of like an information structure. It's, and this is the individual placed inside the information landscape. Michael, you did this videotape for the show. What is it all about? Um, it's a film in the setting of a sort of a confession booth with a chair for the viewer. Um, it deals with some scenes of uh, graphic intensity and surreal sort of dreamlike imagery that um, confronts the viewer and if the person sitting here alone confronting this um, it, it can bring out certain things at the opening someone actually said you know I'm going home <laughs> you know this 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 is weird sort of thing so um, that's basically it trying to get people to confront things that are in themselves 
we're not really doing it for the money. It's something that we want to do and that we need to do, and we're not we're not actually um, that interested in the whole capitalistic structure. Now, for people that are watching this particular whole story on y your thing, and they're yelling at the television set and going, this is an art. <laughs> what is your response to, response to that? There are a lot of different kinds of art. I don't think that you can really say that any of them aren't. So. But what makes something art? Um, that's, I don't think that's a question you can really answer ever. If, if, you, if you do, if you are able to answer that question, then I think that you're already limiting yourself. I think art is expression to the utmost of the person who happens to be purveying whatever medium.